Dad and Eden, we got to know about Gina. Eden said uh, she was joining CC in Baja. Yeah, I know. I've been leaving messages for him everywhere. Oh, hello? Yeah? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Thanks. Well, that, that was somebody from Chris's office. They just got off the plane 20 minutes ago. Chris is heading straight here with Gina. Uh, that's probably them right now. Oh, hi, Santana. My gosh, it's getting kind of rough out there. The storm came up from nowhere. Is Kirk around yet? Yeah, well, yeah, he's right there. Oh, hello. I brought over some final sketches to show you. Uh, uh, Santana, uh, this, this really is not a very good time. There's something we have to tell you, Santana. What is it? What's happened? I, uh, I'll get that this time. Ted, will you tell me what's going on? Cruz. All right, Cynthia. It's true, she is alive. Gina, uh... Gina, I'm Kirk. You must remember me. I'm Eden's husband. Yeah. No, uh, obviously not. Uh, uh, we're all very surprised that you're here. I mean, we, we, we all thought that you were dead. We missed you very much, each in our own way. Of course, you can't uh, possibly have forgotten all of us. Or, or this place. Surely you must remember something. Uh, I mean, you, you, you liked it here so much. <laughs> Give the lady a chance to get her bearings, Kirk. Yeah, I, I thought I was... in the door. I thought I was helping her to get her bearings. Uh, Gina. Ted. Remember? Um... I'm well, sorry. I'm, I, I am, too. I'm, I'm sorry about your little accident there. But I'm, I'm happy you're found. I was worried about you. This is, um, Haley. She's a, she's a maid here. Well, you only met her a couple of times, but she really likes you. This is Santana. Santana. Right. Hello, Gina. Gina, does the name CC mean anything to you at all? Well, Bruce said that I was married to him, but it doesn't mean anything. What about the name Brandon? I feel like I should know who that is. I'm really trying to remember. But you don't. I don't. Gina, probably the last person you saw before you disappeared was my sister, Eden. Now, if there's anything you can remember from that night, I mean, we just have this big mystery. We need some help. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but I just can't. I, is there anything at all that you remember from your past life, Gina? Or about where you've been the past two months? Gina, how did you get to Mexico? Were you there the whole time? I don't know. Look, I want to answer your questions, but... I just don't have the answer. All right, why don't we all just lay off for a while? Yeah, I think uh, Cruz is right. I think we should try to make this as, as easy as possible. We're very sorry, Gina. It's just that we're all very interested in the story of, uh, behind this, this uh, incredible reappearance of yours. Uh, uh, <laughs> easy. I'm sorry I didn't have time to prepare you for this. I didn't think you'd be here. When I got home, I thought I'd find you there fast asleep. But instead, I found a note saying that you had to run off to Mexico suddenly. You didn't even say why. There wasn't time. Did you get any rest at all? Yeah, I closed my eyes on the plane. Where's Brandon? He's with Mama at her house. So why'd you come over here? I had to drop off some sketches. That job that I told you about is for the Capwells. It's to redecorate the casino, and I got it. I'll be reporting to Kirk. You knew that all along? No, I found out after I spoke to you. Well, you're going to have to give it up. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to give it up. This project means a lot to me. There will be other projects. I want this project. I knew you'd act this way. This isn't fair. I don't tell you what assignments to take. I didn't even try to stop you from working on Eden's case. Santana, this is not just some macho thing between Kirk and I. I'm doing this for your own protection. You don't understand the whole story here, so just trust me, okay? I'm sorry. That isn't a good enough reason. You are asking me to give up something that's very important to Kirk me. Kirk Cranston is a dangerous man. That's the reason. Why? Because he's jealous of Eden. 
That's part of it. But it's a lot more complicated than that. And I don't have time to explain it to you now. Well, until you can, I've got to follow my own instincts. And my instincts tell me that I won't be in any danger working with Kirk. You think it's just a coincidence that he chose you? Cruz, don't insult me. People don't need ulterior motives to work with me. I am good at my work. And you what, know that. Uh, that's not what I meant. Besides, you are gone most of the time. I would think that you would be happy that I have something to keep myself busy. Now, wait a second. You knew what my work was like when and you, you married me. And you knew my don't... work, too. Look, I am keeping this job. I don't know what you're trying to pull with Santana, but it's not going to work. I have no idea what you're talking about, Cruz. Santana and I have a simple business arrangement. Nothing is ever simple with you, Kirk. And Gina. Are there any candles around here? Is there, is there a flashlight or something? Santana, where are you? I'm over here. I have a, I have a candle here. Someone has matches. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Better. <clears throat> Gina's gone. Well, where could she have gone? I was standing right next to her. Yeah, Kirk seems to have disappeared too. She out here? Kirk! Gina! You know, I think she was just scared. The lights went out and she ran. We ought to just check around the house real quick. Okay. What are you doing? What do you want? Shh. I want Gina Capwell back. Let go of me. No, that was an award-winning performance you pulled off in there. You're hurting just, me. Just drop the act, Gina. I know exactly what you're doing. It's brilliant, except for the fact that you're trying to fool me as well. I'm your partner, remember? I don't even know who you are. You know exactly who I am. You're just dreaming up this whole scheme so you don't have to admit to the... No, I want, I want to hear it from you. You're faking it, aren't you, Gina? No. You're faking it. Tell me, I know exactly how you think. Nothing. What are you doing, Gina? Please, please get me out of here. You shouldn't have brought me here. You know why I did. Because you thought it would help me remember, but it didn't work. And I'm scared here. You know, I won't let anyone hurt you. So you can tell me the truth. Now, I know you're faking this amnesia bit, but I don't know if you're doing it to protect yourself, or Kirk, or the both of you. I don't know you how to prove to it to you. You have to tell me the truth. There are lives at stake, and you know it. Now, trust me. I promise you I won't let anything happen to you, but I have to know what happened to Eden that night. I'm afraid for her, and I'm very worried about Kirk. You said something to Eden. Something like he wants to kill you. Now who is he? You can trust me. I believe that. The way I see it, you got two choices, Gina. One of them makes sense. Now you can go on pretending you don't remember what happened that night at the boathouse, or you can confide in me now. Either way, I'm gonna find out. And if it turns out that you knowingly concealed the truth, things are gonna go real tough on you. Look, I know you're scared. Kirk must have threatened you if you told the truth, huh? But let me tell you something. If it comes down to a contest between your word and his, I'm gonna pick yours in a minute. He'll be out in the cold so fast his head'll be spinning, so don't even think about him. Just tell me, who tried to kill Eden that night? I, I don't know anything. I don't even know who Eden is. I told you. I think you do. I wish I could help you. I really do, but my mind is a blank, I swear, and I can't stand any more of these questions. Gina! Must have gotten to the power lines again. Where is everybody? Rosa! Daddy. Oh, check upstairs. Be careful. I'll see if the phones are still out of order.
didn't have a chance to prepare you for this scene. How on earth? She was picked up in Mexico after she stepped in front of a truck. Apparently she has no idea how she got there. Gina, we thought you were dead. When you fell in the water, we thought you drowned. I, I don't remember that. She says she can't remember anything. Amnesia? But Gina, now that you see me, don't, don't you remember who I am? Well, when we were at the boathouse, you were hiding and you came out and you had a gun in your hand. Don't you remember that? I, I don't remember you. I don't remember the gun. And I don't know why everybody keeps talking oh. about this boathouse. No, 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 Gina, calm down, calm down. I mean, you were frightened and so was I. But before you fell in the water, you said he's trying to kill us both. Do you remember that? Stop it. Stop it. None of this means anything to me. But Gina... What in heaven's name are you doing? CC, I'm sorry, I wanted to call and warn you both, but I didn't know where you'd be. Who brought her here? She was picked up in Mexico. The police there contacted me. What the hell is she doing running around loose? She should be... She should be in jail. She's not dead. She should be in jail for attempted murder. What is she doing here? Daddy, daddy, daddy. She's got amnesia. She doesn't know who she is or, or even what happened. She does. Now, you believe that, huh? Listen, yes. we're going to do everything we can to jog her memory, Mr. C, but we're not going to arrest her. Oh, you're being ridiculous. Why do you hate me so much? I don't even know you. Oh, but I know you. Oh, do I know you. Well, listen, I don't think we're going to accomplish anything here tonight. Let's go find you a room, what do you say? Look, Gina, I know this all must be very frightening, but you're the only one that can help me on this. I I'm sorry. That's my car over there. Wait for me. I'll be there in a second. Do you believe her? That's beside the point. I think I know a way we can find out for sure if she's lying. What? Just meet me at the presidential suite in a few minutes. What are you going to do? Meet me there. I'll explain it then. Ah, there you are. I thought maybe you took off again. No, I was just trying to help Gina remember some things. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. But I do think she's on the level with the San Vision. First time I saw her after she got back was if she looked like it's amazing how somebody's brain can short circuit like that. How was your trip? It was fine. Baja was beautiful. And so are you. I missed you. I'm so glad you're back. I don't you, excuse me. This place is beautiful. Welcome to the presidential suite. Nothing but the best courtesy of the Santa Barbara PD. Well, thanks. Don't thank me, Gina. Well, you're the only person who's treated me decently since I got here. I want you to know I appreciate it. Well, you have certain rights as a human being, don't you? Try to get some rest while you can. I'll be here in the morning to see you again. By the way, okay. don't try to leave before I return. You will not be allowed to. Okay. Good night. Good night. I just got Gina squared away for the night. Which room? That one. You put her in the presidential suite? The one and only. You thought it was okay to put her in the best uh, room in the hotel? I thought it was necessary. Uh, what, so she can wallow in the lap of luxury while she decides to regain her memory back? You know, Eden, once in a while I wish you'd give me credit for having a brain. You, you know, I'm a little bit more practical minded than that. Back. Where are you going? What if we use what is this like I, I, some hypnosis or truth? There's got to be somebody in this room watching Gina 24 hours a day and videotaping her every move on this camera, see? So if she really is faking amnesia, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know? She'll say something, she'll do something, we'll have her. Well, what, what if she's not faking? What if she really does have amnesia? Then you have nothing. I don't know. What? I think my plan was better. Your plan was dangerous. My plan is better. Not only is it safer, it has a better chance of working. I hope you don't think that you're fooling me, Gina. This whole amnesia routine is as phony as you are. I'm not buying it. Nobody is. Stop it. You're hurting me. Well, tell the truth, Gina. You may think you can pull it over on Cruz Castillo, but this is me. This is Kirk. And I'm not leaving here until you admit that you know exactly what is going on. You have no right to be here. What are you planning, Gina, huh? 
What are you, what are you thinking? That everyone's going to buy this idiotic little little plan of yours, and as soon as they stop suspecting you, they're going to start suspecting me. Is that it? I'm not planning anything. Don't give me that. You've had a vendetta against me since the day we met. You're crazy. I don't have a vendetta against anybody. Just tell me what you're trying to do. If you do that, I'll go, okay? All I want to do is get a little rest and try to figure out who I am. That's all I want. I'm very tired. Oh, I'm sure you are. It must have taken an incredible amount of energy to plan this little scheme you've got going. This is not a scheme. Why don't you believe me? Even Inspector Castillo knows I'm telling the what, truth. What, what, what do you think? That, wh why do you think that he's arranged for a fugitive to lay her head on satin sheets in a presidential suite, huh? There's more to it than that, Gina. Believe me, there's more to it. He is not doing this out of the goodness of his heart. What's the matter? Don't worry. Can't see us or hear us. Don't start trusting the wrong people, Gina. He is not doing this for your own good, believe me. Well, I'm sure you don't intend to do anything for me for my own good either. I can be a better friend to you than he ever has been if you would just trust me. You want me to remember something that I can't, that I don't. That's a lie, Gina, and I'm going to do everything I can to prove it. I am not going to let you run around loose after what you did to my wife. Anything I have to do to protect her, I'm going to do. You remember that. Well, if that's any indication, it doesn't sound like she's taking it. No, it doesn't, does it? Well, then she must have it, Alicia. But did you hear what he said? Yeah. Well, it sounds like he, he wasn't the one who tried to kill me. He's clever. I'll give him that. <sighs> Look, we don't have time to wait around for Gina to get her memory back. We have to do something now. Eden, we're not going to start taking chances with your life again. Nothing is worth that risk. Don't you understand? Kirk's out there running around free. I'm already having my life at risk. No, not to the same degree. Now, what you want to do is just asking for it. All right. I'll just do this myself. Wait, where are you going? I Don't ask me. If I tell you, you're just going to try to stop me. You're damn right I'm going to stop you. I can't be part of something where you could so easily get hurt. Now, don't you understand? We gotta start playing the odds around here. All this dramatic, heroic stuff is not the ticket. The ticket is keeping you alive. So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Nice getting to know you. Bye-bye.